This is my sage. To get through this week, Brian Burns, known as Buggy, needed help from Creator and from the grave. Before I left, I went and visited them at the, at the church, Bonnie and Gregory. What did you tell them? Um, just asked them to watch over me and I wish I was home. Protect you guys. Buggy's son, Gregory, and wife, Bonnie, were among 11 killed in Canada's worst stabbing massacre. Now he and the world knows more about how they died. Part of this presentation may be difficult for some to hear and see. RCMP say days before the stabbings, Miles Sanderson and his brother Damien Sanderson sold cocaine in James Smith Cree Nation. At the time, both brothers were wanted men. Less than 24 hours before the stabbings, RCMP came across Damien when someone called 911 saying he'd stolen a vehicle. But they didn't recognize him from an older photo, so they didn't arrest him. Hours before his murder, Damien went to a bar in another town. While at the bar, Damien told an adult female acquaintance that he and Miles, quote, have a mission to do and that, quote, people would hear all about it in the next few hours. Damien was initially a suspect in the killings, but RCMP say he actually stopped the first attack. The brothers got into a fight after that. Damien ran off into the bush where he died. He became the first victim of a fatal attack. Miles continued his violent rampage. He made his way to different homes by walking and stealing cars, killing and brutally assaulting as he went. He left the reserve and went to two other towns, killing a man in the process. Then he vanished. Lives lost and ruined in just under three hours. Nearly four days later, RCMP arrested Miles on the side of a Saskatchewan highway. Police say he shortly after went into medical distress and died. There was a lot of questions asked that probably won't be answered. Daryl Burns lost his sister in the stabbings. The addictions worker hopes RCMP can address what he says are the root causes of this violence. This tragedy is taking people's focus away from the real issue, which is the addictions, which is the, the oppression, the suppression that our people have faced for so many years. You know, we have to get back to that ability to love ourselves and to love our, our children and our grandchildren and the people around us. Hoping to finally have a good night's rest. Buggy Burns says knowing more is a bit comforting, but it doesn't help with the present. He's looking after his three other sons now, one of whom was stabbed. He's left with guilt and an empty bed. So we used to uh, hugging someone at night, you know what I mean? And, you know, it's hard to toss and turn all night, knowing that your partner's not there anymore. Leaders from James Smith sent out statements today. They say that the transparency from the RCMP is great, but they still need help addressing the drug trade pervading the community. The First Nation wants its own police force so that protection comes from within. Sam Sampson, CBC News, Melfort.